it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. We're here at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're speaking with Palumi. Can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Yeah, for sure. Um, so Palumi is a modern infrastructure as code platform. Uh, so it's open source and effectively supports every cloud provider, public, private. Um, so AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, also vSphere, on-prem. Um, what's kind of interesting about Pulumi is it also supports Kubernetes, so it supports the full object model of Kubernetes. Um, and what makes Pulumi really different is that you're actually declaring infrastructure as code using general purpose programming languages. So you get to use JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Go, just launched .NET support last week. And so you're, you're basically getting access to your, you know, familiar ecosystems of, of tools, like your favorite editor, test frameworks, libraries. You get all the power of a full-blown language, so you can share and reuse abstractions. Um, but you're getting the robustness of infrastructure as code tooling. So you can preview deployments before you, you actually perform them. Integrates great into your CI CD pipeline. Uh, you get a full audit history of who changed what and when. Um, so like I said, it's all open source. And then we have a commercial edition that the company uh, supports. So we, we have support training options, but then we also have things around security, compliance, just basically making it easier to use Pulumi within a, a larger organization. And, I mean, you've touched on it a little bit, but maybe you can tell me a little bit more in detail of how you fit into the Kubernetes ecosystem and what specific problems you solve. Yeah, so we, you know, we open sourced Pulumi about a year and a half ago, and then added, uh, quickly added Kubernetes support a few months later because we saw just lots of demand from our customers. It turns out almost everybody doing infrastructure these days has to interact with Kubernetes in one manner or another. Um, and over the last year, what we've really found is connecting Kubernetes to the rest of your infrastructure is actually really challenging. So, you know, Kubernetes clusters are not an island, right? They have to use AWS IAM, they have to use CloudWatch logs, they have to, you know, maybe you want to use RDS or S3 buckets, or if you're in Azure, Cosmos DB, or Google Cloud Spanner. I mean, there's lots of different infrastructure options and choices today. And the problem most customers that we work with and, and, and users increasingly is they have to connect Kubernetes to all these other, you know, resources. And doing so today requires mastering lots of different tools. You know, lots of YAML, lots of shell scripting, uh, where, you know, what Pulumi lets you do is have one consistent authoring experience, deployment experience, and managing, management experience, so that you're not having to stitch together lots and lots of different tools uh, and building homegrown solutions to solve these problems. And I understand you had uh, some announcements around the show. Can you maybe tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, so last week we launched what we call Pulumi Crosswalk for Kubernetes. And what Crosswalk really is, is the culmination of everything I just mentioned, you know, the last year of bringing Kubernetes into production and helping our customers be successful, um, which really comes down to two things. One, how do, you, how do you go to production in Amazon, Azure, Google Cloud? Uh, what are the best practices, right? It, it's almost like, you know, yes, you can choose your own adventure and, you know, try to peel, peel layers of the onion yourself, but it's a lot easier if we can just say, hey, if you're going into, you know, into Amazon, here's some tried and true best practices. So that's the first thing that Crosswalk is. The second thing is increasingly we're finding infrastructure teams want to help their developers be more successful with Kubernetes. Um, they want to be able to empower their developers with appropriate policies and guardrails in place. And so we've released some libraries and best practices for developers that are wanting to, to use Kubernetes. And so we're really trying to help the infrastructure side of the house work better with the development side of the house. And would it be uh, possible for us to maybe take a look at that, take a, a demo if you have one? Yeah, I'd love to, to give you a demo. Great. So what are you going to show us? Yeah, so what I'm going to show you is basically just the core inner development loop of Pulumi, but leveraging some of the latest uh, features we shipped last week with Crosswalk. Great. So what you're going to see first is we're actually just using VS Code to edit our infrastructure configuration. 
And because we're using VS Code, we actually get a lot of things out of the box by default. You know, if I wanted to create a new Kubernetes namespace, for example, I've got you know full statement completion. Um, you know, notice I'm getting documentation in line in my editor. If I make a typo, I'm gonna I'm gonna be told by the editor. So basically, just getting a great inner loop development experience. And as we walk through here, what we're going to see is this code is actually pretty concise. Um, you know, we've got 20 lines of code here. And what this is actually doing is, is defining a pod. It's going to run Nginx exposed over port 80. And it's going to create a deployment out of that. It's going to create three replicas and then create a load balance service. And it's going to show us the resulting host name uh, afterwards. And so we can just run you know, the standard way of deploying this would be to run Pulumi up. And so we can do that, and it's gonna show us a preview of all the changes. And we can, we can see the details if we wanna see, you know, everything that's in here. We can see the labels and so on. But I'm gonna say no, I'm not gonna do that deployment. And what I'm gonna show you is a new watch mode that we added just recently, where now Pulumi's watching for changes. And I can go in here, and if I say replicas one, as soon as I hit save, you're going to see it starts updating. And over here, I'm going to actually watch Kube Control, and we're going to see, oh, you know, hey, the pod is up and running. Uh, but notice that even though the pod's running on the, the Kube Control side, Pulumi hasn't said it's finished yet. The reason is Pulumi actually understands deployment status, and so it will only finish once the, the service is actually up and running. Um, if, I, if I want, I can go over here, say, let me stack output, show me that this is the URL for the load balance service. Let's make it really interesting. Let's go back and we'll change replicas to three and we'll hit save and notice it's automatically updating again. Um, and now, of course, this is a very simple change. I could be doing any number of changes, you know, uh, you know, anything in the Kubernetes namespace. You know, we've got full support for the whole APIs, and the same workflow works there too. Uh, and then you can see over here, everything's up and running, so we've got three services. And so this is really just a quick demo of the core inner loop where we're really trying to make you super productive in developing and deploying services to the point where it really blurs the line between application development and configuration and deployment time. And so we're really excited about that. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about Pulumi or uh, some of the stuff we've talked about? Yeah, so Pulumi, Pulumi.com is your one-stop shopping. Got all the documentation, all the getting started tutorials. Uh, the crosswalk guides are up there that I mentioned before. Pulumi's, you know, 100% open source, so you can go to GitHub, uh, the Pulumi organization, it's all there if you want to check it out. Um, and then we have a community Slack, too. So slack.pulumi.com, the whole team is there. Uh, we've got thousands of practitioners sharing best practices and helping each other out. So definitely check it out. Okay. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Yeah, thank you very much.